In about an hour, we are going to fully circumnavigate the globe, complete our circumnavigation. We bought this sailboat in Greece about six years ago, and we sailed out the Mediterranean, across the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean, the Pacific, Australia, the Maldives, Red Sea, and then finally, we're back here, and it has been an amazing trip. At 16 years old, I can say that I have fully circumnavigated the globe with my family. Hear me out, we're not finished sailing yet, but we are about to fully complete our circumnavigation. Yeah, it's crazy, it's so cool. Hope you enjoyed that little cover of Landslide. I uh, enjoyed playing it, I'm trying to get better at singing, so I figure if I just sing, then that's how you get better, right? But for now, I wanna talk about what I do for school because I'm 16, right? I, I need to be doing some school. So I am homeschooled, which means that I do school on the boat, right? I'm not public schooled or anything like that. We have two subjects. That's not a lot of subjects at all. That's math and French. Now these subjects take between an hour, an hour and a half. So I, sure, two subjects, not a lot. It's short amount of school. We're pretty relaxed about it as well. Like if we wake up early and we're sailing somewhere or we are feeling seasick, we won't feel obligated to do school and we just won't. I mean, it's really my mother who's the driving factor there. So if she doesn't want to do school, then we won't do school. And I'm happy about that. Future Finn here. I've done heaps of science, heaps of geography, and heaps of history, a bunch of other stuff in the past. But as I get further to graduating high school, we start to slow down on those things. So yeah, I'm not a complete idiot. I don't have to do exams or anything like that, which is pretty chill. Uh, I mean, I'm living. Yo, I'm living. I'm pretty spoiled out here. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do, so let's go inside. Oh, mirror in the sky. So, for math, 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 I do a computer program that's called Monarch. I'm doing some pretty simple math right now. It's good. I don't know what I'm saying. This program does require internet, which is unfortunate, um, but it's fairly simple to use and it's just questions and that. I have a quiz today. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I hope I don't mess up this quiz. Say some something inspirational about school or something. Uh, something inspirational about school. Well, you've got one more year of school and you will be finished with high school. My smart, smart son. If he could quit right now, he would. <laughs> yes. I love my mother. Gotta love your mama. Yeah, and I'll do this, it's simple. My mother does help me occasionally if I get stumped on a problem and I just don't know the answer. Um, but for the most part, I think I can get through this stuff. And then, Francais, Francais. I'm not good at pronouncing it. It's only my first week and a half. But um, for French, I'm using Duolingo and Anki. Now, I need to get into reading stories, but for now, I'm just focusing on growing my vocabulary. So Anki, which is a flashcard program, really helps me dial in that. Just put in your own word, repeat the process, easy as that. And then Duolingo, well, 
It's alright, I don't know. I'm just kind of doing it to understand sentence structures and that kind of stuff. Uh, and all of this, I already said it once, but it takes me about an hour and a half to two hours a day. So it's, it's pretty chill. But that's my school. Hear me out, I'm not gonna be super smart books-wise and like math-wise. I'm not, I'm just not. Mainly because I don't put my time and effort and energy towards being good at that stuff. I'd rather be world smart, understand cultures and people, and I don't know, I feel like once you get to a certain point in math, it just becomes absolutely useless. So, no, I don't think I'm gonna be IQ 1000. Or maybe I already am. Power. But yeah, that's, that's what I do for school. Thought I'd let all y'all know because a lot of y'all my age were wondering, how does Finn do school? So yeah. Yo, what's up? It's me, Jack. Uh, and I'm the brother Finn. I got a 94 on the quiz. We're about to pull into the Anchorage. This my homie, Jack. What you got to say? It's out of tune. Ooh! Hold up, I'll do a little more French for you guys since I'm uh, trying to get better at it. I will say something, and if you're French, don't kill me. Don't hate on me, I'm not good at it. It's my first week and a half, my pronunciation is still pretty bad. But uh, let's go. Le pleu petit croissant. Uh, il fa beau. Il fa très beau. Right? Yeah. Uh, thanks for enjoying my French. C'est tout mon français. Yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I hope to be decent at it by the time we get to France. I don't know why I'm learning it, really. I just think it's a cool language, and I think everyone should have at least one language under the belt. Bruh, we're here, let's go. I'm so friggin' pumped because there's a massive ass skate park here. And I remember going to it six years ago, and I used to ride a little penny board. And now that I'm a big boy, I got my scooter. I'm gonna be doing some pretty sick tricks. Uh, so, uh, if you don't like scooters, then that's your loss, because scooters are pretty cool. Hola, senor. I was just talking to Jack's Hola, camera. Say something. Hola, como estas? Bien? Circumnavigation doesn't really feel any different than pulling into anywhere else. But it is different, it's significant for sure. Can't believe we did this. I mean, when we started out, I never ever thought we'd go all the way around the world. I thought we'd make it to, I knew if we made it to the Panama Canal in the first boat, we would be good and we could cross oceans, but I never thought we'd go all the way around. So now me, Jack, and Kate are going to put the dinghy down and head over to the skate park to revisit the place we were six years ago when I was just a little grom. So I'm pretty freaking stoked to go. Let's go. Also, P.S. I'm making merch soon. This is the design. Kate designed it. I'm pretty proud of my sister for designing it. It's gonna be on shirts, hoodies, and crew necks pretty soon. I'll let y'all know when it comes out, but... Made in heaven! If you like the design, leave it in the comments. Give my sister some happiness. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> so, for the fit, I think I'm gonna change the shirt. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna wear my Carhartts, my nice baggy Carhartts. These puppies, because I really friggin' like them. And then... I could either wear, I'm thinking maybe this. This could be cool. That's my jacket. Is that too much blue? N you know what? No. I'm gonna wear this this sweater crew neck thing and this shirt, so let's get it. Check! <laughs> the reason I enjoy going to skate parks isn't only to ride and do cool tricks and that kind of stuff. Don't get me wrong, that's really fun and I really enjoy doing that, but I also love the cardio and the workout I get from it. And then I also love meeting people. The new people I meet there, I get to make friends there, and that's pretty much my biggest way of socializing with people other than my family. Going to skate parks. Fits actually pretty freaking hard. And then I'm gonna wear these. Uh, and that'll be all. <laughs> How am I supposed to get the bone? We hit something, I might die. It's pretty shallow right here, so we have to go slow. God, I'm so pumped. So pumped.
right, see you. Love you, bye. Love you. looking water. Wow. This place is just as I remember it. Ah, it's been so long. Hello. First day in Fethier was pretty friggin' fun. I had a good time at the skate park, but uh, that's all I have for this episode video thingy. I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions about my lifestyle of a 16 year old living on a sailboat, be sure to leave it in the comments, cause why not? Next Sunday, new video, always Sunday, Sunday fun day. Let's go. Here comes the sun, doo -doo -doo -doo. here comes the sun, and I said it's alright.